It's Thursday, May 19th, 2016. May I have the attendance, please? Mrs. Bealey? Here. Mrs. Lyford? Here. Mrs. Massengill? Here. Dr. Miles? Here. Mrs. Murphy? Here. Ms. Perry? Here. Mrs. Shea? Here. Ms. Hobbs? Here. Ms. Hartle? Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 4.0, are there any adjustments to the agenda? There are no adjustments. Are there any public comments at this time on any agenda item? If there is, please come to the podium, state your name and address. Seeing none, we'll move on. New business, 5.0, 5.1, a Project Grace donation, and we have Steffi Cox, the director of Project Grace, and Sam Brown from our high school to present. Thank you, uh, Donna Bealey and, and members of the school board for seeing us today. Sam and I are very pleased to be here. Um, before um, the presentation of our annual grant, I'd like to tell you a little bit about why Project Grace, Neighbors Helping Neighbors <coughs> here in Scarborough, has as, a, as one of its key priorities helping children focus on school and to, to, have, um, to, to not be faced by hunger when they should be paying attention to math and English and history and other activities at school. Um, Maine right now ranks number one in New England in terms of food insecurity. That means people are hungry in Maine more than other states in New England. One out of four kids in Maine are hungry. And um, there's no reason why peanut butter should be a luxury these days. And, there's no, and it's very easy, it's an easy problem to solve. You provide food, you make sure kids have lunch, they have breakfast, snacks when they're needed. And um, the last time I looked at the numbers, about 17% of the kids in Scarborough schools are on free and reduced lunch, which is uh, one way to make sure kids are healthy. As you, as educators, know, a hungry child is a child who might come to school late, if at all. Um, maybe they have behavior problems because they, you know, they're, they're, their stomach is grumbling and they haven't had any nourishment that day. It's very hard to pay attention to algebra and, I don't know, when George Washington sailed the Delaware or what have you, you know. It's hard to pay attention when all you can think about is that you're hungry. And um, that's why Project Grace is very pleased to partner with the school nurses, with the social workers, to make sure that kids who who need a little extra boost are identified and provided with some help. Um, we do a lot of uh, work to make sure kids are warm. They have a hat and mittens and snow pants. We also work with um, uh, the school nutrition department and Kiwanis and Rotary and the many wonderful people throughout town who provide food for the backpack program, which is a little different than our backpack program. Ours has pencils and erasers in it. Um, but the school backpack program has healthy, nutritious food, and Project Grace works with Cindy Fasulo and other nurses to make sure fresh fruit is added to that. Um, we're excited about that new initiative, and we won a grant from the Sibley Saltonstall Foundation to expand our efforts around nutrition here in town, and we're excited about that and, and look forward to working with Mr. Piscopo on that as well. Um, so. Not to take up too much time, I'd like to thank you for welcoming Project Grace and introduce Sam Brown, who's going to tell you a little bit about our annual grant. Thank you, Steph. My name is Sam Brown, and hey, I'm Sam. a local Scarborough resident, student, and Boy Scout. And I would like to thank you for granting me time to speak tonight. On behalf of Project Grace, we are very eager and honored to give $2,500 to the school nutrition programs. This money will go towards the uh, students that are not eligible uh, for uh, free and reduced lunch subsidies. This means those that apply and uh, don't receive them, and but their parents still aren't allowed or aren't economically allowed to send their kids lunch or lunch money. Um, so this uh, money will also go towards enough. Uh, ingredients and money for second helpings 
for kids that are uh, hungry, even if they're on free and reduced lunch subsidies. Uh, along with just lunches, we go around and do uh, snacks for the younger elementary students. Um, so this is snacks and milks and juices and waters. Um, and finally, this money goes towards the snacks for the school nurses um, to distribute among the kids that come in and require um, some sort of hunger necessity that will fix their uh, medical needs. And so as you can see, this money goes a very long way. And um, I'd like to present the check to the school board chair, Ms. Donna Bealey, uh, for the use of the school nutrition program. But before I leave this podium, I would like to thank the school board, along with Project Grace, um, for granting me time to speak tonight on behalf of this donation. Thank you, Sam. Any comments or questions? Sam, how did you become involved with Project Grace? Um, well, I'm currently a Boy Scout and I'm working towards uh, new rank advancements for Boy Scouts and I need service hours. And um, I was originally going to help out with Soon Team, but then that fell through and um, Steffi um, came along and I met her and I'm very actually glad that I met her instead of working with the Soom team because this is a lot <laughs> more fun. <laughs> uh, no offense, Soom team. So um, I'm actually very glad that she uh, came and helped me. Great, thank you. Christine? Well, I just wanted to say thank you for coming forward and helping with such organizations in the community. We all hope that our youth come and participate and do civic uh, civic in minded things. So thank you very much, Sam. We appreciate that. Good. I'll just piggyback on what Christine said. I, I feel like this is sort of the best part of being on the school board is seeing the students come forward and talk about the things that they're doing and what they're passionate about and the way they're helping our community. It's amazing. Um, so we're very proud of you. I can only imagine that your parents are ten times more proud. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I just want to echo everyone's sentiments. I think it's great you're involved with Project Grace and raising money for um, kids who have less. And I think that's <coughs> fantastic to recognize that while you're still a kid. And um, I love both backpack programs, but I have a special spot in my heart for the nutrition backpack program. So um, thank you so much for recognizing that and supporting it. And, and Sam, I want to say too that I, I've worked in schools where well, I've watched those kids. So the pickup that Project Grace is doing in terms of what actually really happens, it really is what you said. Kids who are sitting there thinking, I'm starved, I'm hungry, I didn't have anything this morning. And it's, it's really, really helpful to have that extra piece, that extra funding from our community to help those kids along the way and say, yes, you can have a, an extra helping of, of pasta today or whatever it is. It's really, really needed tremendously around our state, so it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. And before you go, we need a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Now you have to turn that way. Go ahead, go right up. Thank you. One picture. Sam, thank you very much. Good luck with you. <coughs> Sam, what what year are you? I'm a freshman. Oh wow! Oh wow! Been having for a while there, Stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Five point two. A motion to authorize the chair to execute the contract negotiated with Julie Kuchenberger to serve as superintendent of schools for the period from July 1st, 2016 through June 30th, 2019.
So moved. Second. All right, very good. Are there any comments anyone would like to make? Mrs. Murphy. I would like to say we're thrilled to have you and we're so excited um, to start this new adventure together with um, Mrs. Kuchenberger and the board this summer. It's going to be fantastic and welcome to town. We're so happy it worked out. Anyone else? Yes. I'm assuming we're all probably going to say something, but yes, we are thrilled to have you here. Kelly is so thrilled she got out of bed <laughs> and limped here. Literally, it's my first outing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, some, a lot of times people talk about change and, and it's difficult, and yes, it is, but I, I think it's also an opportunity for us. I, you know, we've loved having Dr. Entwistle, and we've come such a long way, and we feel like you're, the, you're a great fit for after to sort of move us one step further and keep going forward. It's, it's really exciting for all of us. Becky? I was just going to say that uh, Donna and I had the privilege of negotiating the contract with, with Julie, so we got to know her just a little bit better than perhaps everybody else on the board, and I'm truly excited, uh, and I know that uh, with all the good that Dr. Entwistle has done the last five years, <coughs> we're now in a position, as, as uh, Kelly said, to take that next step, and I'm hoping it's at least two steps, so you have a lot on your shoulders. Welcome. Thank you. Very happy to welcome you and, well, here comes your husband and your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome aboard to Scarborough. <coughs> We're looking forward to working with you. And, and I just want to say, if I can, that it's been so much fun just raving about you to the community. And, you know, everybody comes up, and, and I was just talking to a woman who has kids in the district, and she does... Um, instruction and development and design in South Portland, and she's like, you know, we really just, we need to send somebody to a, a Google seminar. And I'm like, well, Julie's just been to one. And, you know, whatever it is, it's like, well, Julie has the answer. And so I think that it's, it's built a tremendous amount of enthusiasm in the town as well. And so um, I think it just, it goes beyond this table in saying that we're so incredibly delighted to have you here. Similarly, I've been... Uh, talking you up. <laughs> I was uh, volunteering actually on Wednesday in one of my kids' classrooms and I talked to this teacher and I was like, just wait. <laughs> You're going to love her. So uh, we're very excited to have you here. Thank you. Did you have anything you want to say down there, Lizzie? I mean, they pretty much said everything <laughs> I was going to say. So we're super excited you're going to be here. And it's been really interesting seeing the kids at the high school that are like, have you met the new superintendent yet? Do you know who the new superintendent was? I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We're good. We're great. <laughs> We're great. So, um, yeah. Well, there has been We're just overwhelming that. support, not only on the board and within the school system, but in the broader community as well, uh, with everyone who met you throughout the whole process. You had several interviews, and we, we thoroughly looked at your background and what you bring to us, and, and you've got it. You've got what we're looking for. So, and welcome. Welcome to town and, and to Scarborough and to your family as well to join us here. So, now we need a vote. Did Julie get to say anything? Would you like to say something, Julie? I, I put you on the spot last time, so <laughs> if you don't want to, that's okay. <laughs> The only thing I would wanted to say tonight publicly was just thank you to George for he spent several hours with me a few weeks ago um, just sharing the great work um, that is happening here in Scarborough at a, at a deeper level and then followed up with a beautiful letter and um, sent me several resources so that I can really start to get acclimated and um, you know, with everything that we talked about that day, George just kept talking about what a fabulous leadership team we have here in Scarborough. So that just made me even more excited than I was before. And the ongoing support that I've been getting from, from Kate and everyone in the central office has been amazing. So um, July 1st can't come soon enough. <laughs> thank you again, George. You're and welcome. thank you to the school My board. Thank you. So all in favor of the motion. Seven plus one. All in favor? Very good. Thank you. You're hired. You're hired. <laughs> Sign that paper for you tonight. <laughs> and Ava's already been letting us know that. Yes, she's I ready. can see Ava's coming. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go, she is. I'd be willing to babysit, too. <laughs> Oh. Six point.
2.0, recognitions. Dr. Antosso. I'm, I'm going to invite uh, David up. We have a couple of uh, very important, very special recognitions this evening. I'll let him do the introduction. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for having me here. I want to start by also extending my congratulations. Uh, we're thrilled to have you on board and excited at the high school to be working with you. So congratulations. And as, as riveting as the conversations we have about calendars and budget is with me, tonight I get to do something that I actually prefer, <laughs> and that is celebrate two of our students at the high school who are here with me tonight. Um, part of the recognition tonight, we, we, we have a, a lot that we try to do uh, at the high school level, but there are often things that are done above and beyond what we do at the high school to recognize some of the outstanding students that we have at Scarborough High School. And one of those is, <coughs> excuse me, the Southwestern Maine Activities Association, the league that we're associated with, the SMAA, holds every year a citizenship banquet where all 16 member schools send two representatives to represent their high school. And I'm in attendance there with our director of athletics, Mr. Legage. I have the pleasure of having a, a meal with the two recipients and their families who also attended. And it's absolutely a wonderful event. It was held on April 12th at the Italian Heritage Center, which is where we had our prom, too, which was also very good. And um, it's just really a celebration of the accomplishments of these students uh, from each of the schools. The criteria for this achievement is, is basically based on the qualities of citizenship, leadership, and academic effort. And we're asked to select uh, a male and female student from our school that exemplify that best at Scarborough High School. So tonight I have those two recipients. And unlike the banquet, which was, I promised them pretty easy. They had to come up, smile, shake my hand, and take an award. Tonight you're going to have to stand here for a little bit while I talk about you. <laughs> and I didn't tell you that today, so you'd still do it. Are you okay? So I'm going to go one at a time. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have to be because it's all good stuff. So uh, first I want to introduce to you a senior, um, and before I say something about you, I need, need you to know that it will be a struggle for me on June 5th when this person graduates, because I can remember two years ago walking into the cafeteria where she's sitting down with four other students at a table during break, and I just happened to come in, and she called me over and introduced to me and <laughs> told me her name, and I spelled it, and, and she checked on me every week afterwards, every morning when I'm in front of the school and she walks in, I'm greeted with the same thing, a huge smile and a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the many qualities that Maddie has, and I'm going to greatly miss her. But I want to start by introducing to you Maddie Chen. Maddie, if you wouldn't mind staying up there. <laughs> Um, Maddie is a senior at the high school, and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, how involved Maddie has been. Um, and I'm going to read this directly from the information that we provided at the banquet. Maddie is an energetic leader in the Scarborough High School community, a young woman whose enthusiasm for life plays out on a daily basis throughout our school setting. Her energy and optimism are contagious as she takes the time to say the hello to friends, faculty, and teammates. Maddie's positive out outlook is intentional and stands as a role model for others to emulate. Her two years of volunteer service in a hospital setting exemplify her compassion and empathy for others, and have solidified her desire to make a difference in the lives of others through a career in medicine. Other extra extracurricular commitments include volunteering with the Red Cross, refereeing soccer games, and serving with the Key Club. Maddie has completed a rigorous academic program of honors and advanced placement coursework and currently ranks in the top third of her graduating class. In addition to a challenging academic program, Maddie's <coughs> athleticism and sportsmanship on the soccer field have earned her the respect of teammates and coaches alike. Maddie is the daughter of Morris and Melissa Chen, and Maddie's mother, Melissa Chen, is here tonight. So uh, in honor of the Good Citizenship Award for Scarborough High School, I present to you Ms. Maddie Chen. The other recipient, I have just, I, I feel like I've missed out because I've really just gotten a chance to get to know him since the banquet. And I feel the same way that I feel like I've been robbed of three years of getting to know Sam, who is an outstanding young man who has made tremendous contributions to our school community. So I'm going to ask Sam Jacob to join me. 
Sam was also the recipient of the SMAA Good Citizenship Award. Uh, Sam, he exemplify, exemplifies student leadership and his character has earned him the respect and admiration of students and faculty alike. As a natural helper, his integrity, compassion, kindness, and humility make him easily approachable to peers and younger students alike. Sam's leadership skills are evidence across his extracurricular activities, including serving as a youth hockey coach, a referee for youth soccer, assisting with the youth lacrosse programming, and an officer in the National Honor Society. Our classrooms, clubs, and athletic programs have benefited from Sam's innate ability to lead and his unwavering encouragement of others. His participation in the Rotary Youth Leadership Program provided him with an opportunity to collaborate with youth outside of Scarborough High School. Sam has completed, again, a rigorous program of honors and advanced placement coursework and ranks in the top 10% of his graduating class. Sam is the son of Robert and Valerie Jacob, and Sam's mother, Valerie Jacob, is here tonight. It is my great honor to introduce to you the other recipient of the SMAA Good Citizenship Award, Sam Jacob. Thank you. Julie, you're going to have to get your Facebook page. at the banquet too and I, I saw the outcome. It was the two of them and it's <laughs> <laughs> the best picture I could. I'm sure Dr. Entwistle would be happy to forward you the proper picture right. you just took. Absolutely. <laughs> you can see it on my Facebook page. Oh is that too. <laughs> so you can just save it. Jackie? Yes, I have a, a recognition also uh, as you may have uh, read or heard in the media, a uh, girls softball coach reached a milestone last week when he won his 400th game. I was on the board when he started coaching here 27 years ago. The board and the administration want to recognize Tom Griffin for this milestone, but also as the fine man, leader, and teacher we have all come to know and admire. Thank you, Tom, for all that you have done and continue to do for the students of Scarborough and our girls' softball team. Anyone else? Any comments? Yes, Joey? I just want to say congratulations to the students. Again, this is like the meeting of the year. I, I, I love these kind yeah. of meetings. And <laughs> I, know, I remember, although it was a long time ago, being in high school and you sort of are doing a ton of different things and it's just what you do. But I think it's important for you guys to sort of take this in and realize what you're doing is really sort of a stepping stone for the future. And your parents, again, are very proud of you. I know they are. Um, and I, I know you'll be doing great things in the future, I have no doubt. Anyone else? Yes, yes. I've had the privilege of, of honoring many young student leaders. And I am always at, in awe of the caliber of student we have here, although I'm not surprised. I congratulate you, and I congratulate all of our students on their accomplishments because uh, it's rare that we're able to single out one or two stars. And uh, I'm so pleased and proud to be part of that recognition. Congratulations. You're both graduating this year? Yes. And where will you be going in the future? Um, I'm going to Elizabeth Town College. I'm going to Bucknell University. Okay, great. Well, good luck. Good luck. Thanks. You've done well here. I'm sure you'll do luck. <laughs> do very well in the future. Congratulations to that. And that brings us to 7.0, a motion to go into executive session 
Pursuant to 1, MRSA, subsection 405-6A, for the purpose of a superintendent evaluation, not to return to public session. So moved. Second. All in favor? Seven plus one. We are adjourned. Thank you, convener.